and gentlemen, hey, street talk and other stuff. Mike, Mad Dog, McNutty, nice to see you on this fine Monday morning. Hey, spring is coming. A lot of rain last night, which is nice. You know, April showers, they whatever come your way. They bring the flowers that bloom in May. Remember that? <laughs> but you know, hey, it's nice to have you. You know, I just a couple of personal items. You know, my daughter. Marie, she's really been into yoga lately. It's really kind of crazy. Um, she loves it. She's doing good. And she said to me, Dad, you really should do yoga. And I said, Honey, um, when I drop something and I have to bend over and pick it up, I realize yoga is really not for me. <laughs> so, you know, but the thing is, I do have a yoga CD at home. I, I use it all the time. I really do. It's a, it's a coaster for my beer. <laughs> so, and then one day, I almost went with her to a yoga class. She came and she dropped by. She said, Come on, Dad, let's go. Yoga class. And I was halfway out the door before I realized I thought she said, Come on, Dad, let's go. We're going to pour a glass. <laughs> 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 oh, no, but she's, it's great. I mean, hey, look, I have got a great show for you today. I've got two guests today that are people you should know if you don't. You probably do, actually. They are two of our finest citizens who really are a huge asset to this community. But you stick around. Street Talk and other stuff. Mike, Mad Dog, Magnati will be right back. <laughs> I'm Jenny Rojanasatian, and this is Guada TV. Every week we will be bringing you a first look at North Central Washington business, tech, and education news. You'll hear from local influencers and innovators who live right here in the Valley. Together we'll discuss hot topics, current events, and resources that can support your business, our schools, and this community. Join me every week and let's get inspired. stuck trying to find the perfect beer for you, look no further than Badger Mountain Brewing. We specialize in creating tantalizing craft beers that will soothe any picky taste buds and will satisfy your cravings. Check out everything from our amazing honey blonde that will appease even the most finicky taster or a delicious frothy stout for dark beer lovers. Experience them all at Badger Mountain Brewing. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Protect your family and save money with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to Guardian Services from Localtel. Call Guardian Security from Localtel now or visit localtel.net to learn more. Street talking other stuff. Mike Maddock, Magnetic, and I am really proud to introduce these two folks. These are two of the greatest people who live in this community. Yes, you are. Nita Payne, love you big time. Bob Payne. These people probably do more for this community than any, I, I don't know, maybe not anybody. No. But you're, there are you're two of the folks, uh, there are, but you're kind of in the background. You're not all the way up in front all the time, but you're out there doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's great. I mean, that's what makes the community good. You Keeps know? you busy. Yep. It's good, and that's what makes communities well-rounded, interesting to live in, just folks like you. So thanks for coming on. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, thanks for having us. I want to yeah. talk specifically about the program you have coming up in Apple Blossom, but before we do that, just tell us a little bit about yourselves, okay? Because I know, Nita, you've been on the show before, but I think we actually have two or three more viewers than we did last year. <laughs> <laughs> Surge in the ratings. <laughs> it's, it is. It's just we're really, I mean, you know, you know, network, networks are looking at us. You know? <laughs> yeah. Retired teachers yeah. from Eastmont. Um, and we've been in the Valley since 1978. Mm -hmm. We moved back from Vermont, uh, where we'd gone for five years. And Before that, we were in the Peace Corps. Yep. And so we taught around the world. And yeah, where were you in the Peace Corps? When in you were the West there? Indies. Right. So I had a son born there. Okay. He's in Nashville now. But um, my, my grandfather came here in the Depression. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my, all my uh, uncles and aunts graduated from Wenatchee High School. Oh, cool. And our whole family graduated from there. So we've always had a 
except for me. Deer I'm the she's, Seattle. She's yeah. Seattle, Seattle person. <laughs> but it's been uh, it was it's been wonderful. It's a great place. To, she likes the town, and it's been great oh, to yeah. raise our kids here. Yeah. And uh, but I'm I'm a, no, I feel the same way. I raised my kids, got grandkids here too. It's a great yeah. town. So. And you escaped Jersey, right? To I get did, it. indeed. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so witness protection program, <laughs> not very, not well protected. <laughs> uh, but uh, we just had a great, a great run here, and we just love the town. And our younger son, who lives yeah. in Los Angeles, he came and uh, he loves the town, and he wanted to start this, this uh, thing we're involved in right now that we're here to talk about today. Okay, now this is important because you know one of the favorite things that's coming up is the Apple Blossom Food Fair. That's gonna when does that open? It's in a week from Thursday. A week from Thursday. Okay, and everybody in town goes to it at least once. But okay, take it away from here. All right, why don't you take you tell me the story off. Well, you, you know, you, you like to tell the, the, okay. the mean story. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, the food fair is interesting. Okay, the food fair is a lot of the income is how the apple blossom yeah. makes their income. But yeah, that's part of that. Talk part. about your part yeah. in this. Talk about how you got involved. Give us the brief version. So. Well, we, we were ready to retire, and our son thought needed, we needed some activity <laughs> because uh, we, we, were a little bit of upwards, we were in counseling at the time. A little bit of upwards you know, delegation. Yeah, right. Right. So. so he wanted us to stay together for the grandkids. So <laughs> he said, well, here's what they need to do. And he got involved in uh, Apple Blossom by bringing, actually he brought uh, the judges. He's in, all our children are in <coughs> entertainment. Mm -hmm. And uh, they work at uh, various things in LA or Nashville. And he said, look, uh, we can bring the judges to pick the queen. And you have to be from out of town so right, they, don't get, yeah. they don't get run on yeah. a rail after the wrong girls right. picked for the... They're gone by the time... Yeah, they're gone by the time... By the time, <laughs> the, by the, time the tar is heated up, <laughs> right. the tar, And the feathers are ready. Yeah. So uh, he, he started getting involved with people and, and he learned about the food fair. And he said, well, that sounds like a good fundraiser. And we've always been involved in fundraisers. Mm -hmm. He was in high school. He was selling popcorn out of the gobbledygook on Main Street for the firefighters and stuff. Sure. So mm -hmm. it was a natural thing for him to want to have, have people... Uh, to help. And the gobbledygook, mm -hmm. by the way, if you've ever seen it, is a Volkswagen pickup truck that's painted orange and yellow, and it says gobbledygook right on the side. And this has been an institution for, yeah. Yeah. I mean, ever since I've known it, that we've was, been yeah, 30 yeah. years yeah. ago. Well, yeah. we had yeah. two or three of them in Vermont where we came really? from. Okay. So, but we've done fundraisers out there. So we've just naturally always done fundraising because it's mm -hmm. we were in education and it's always sure. short of funds. So this is a great way to get scholarships for kids going to Wenatchee Valley College. Okay, so tell us how precisely, how are you doing it, so. How we're doing it? Yeah. yeah. We give the money to... Well, we raise the money. Uh, the operation that we have is run fully by volunteers. What is the operation, though? Oh, I'm sorry. So Final when you cakes. go to the food fair, you know what booth to go to. Yeah. Funnel cakes. Funnel Everybody cakes. loves a funnel yeah. cake. Yeah. And so we, we sell a lot of funnel cakes, and uh, we have a lot of volunteers who are either cutting strawberries or working at the booth in the windows. And we not only sell funnel cakes, there's cotton candy, snow cones, and popcorn as well. But um, we give the money to the all this money goes into the um, uh, community foundation who manages it for us, right. North Central Washington Community Foundation, and um, <laughs> and they. Um, Monitor this I think Bob's letting us know they need volunteers. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We have Absolutely. lots of great yeah. volunteers, but we always awesome. take more. Obviously you can join volunteers. us. You okay. Can, yeah. The volunteers um, help us make it possible for us to raise a lot of money. So therefore, all the profits then go to helping stu local students go to Wenatchee Valley College. Right. So Cashmere. they apply for scholarships. Yeah. Cashmere. Cashmere, Wenatchee, Eastmont, uh, River Academy. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we give Any them of these local kids can apply, but exactly. it's for yeah. kids who are going to go to Wenatchee Valley College. Exactly. Right? Keep WBC. the money in the valley. That WBC. was the whole idea the kid yeah. Yeah. Ben yeah. came up yeah. with Benjamin, our son. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, Ben was the one who found out yeah. that it was the funnel cake booth that actually was the biggest right. yeah. the moneymaker. Yeah. And yeah. where was that money going before you guys took it over? Tucson, Arizona. The guy okay. had a big saguaro cactus in his front yard. They were very oh, expensive, geez. you know. <laughs> no, really. He's got his little daughter sitting in front of it. But anyway, oh. she's gone now. They're on welfare. But <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they don't happen in Arizona. <laughs> they're building a no, wall. Arizona. So anyhow, so, yeah. I mean, I'm biting my tongue here. Okay, I'm biting my tongue about no, what I can I, say. I'm bleeding to death. Oh, that's no. kidding. I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm gonna say they must be Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> so we give the money. <laughs> we give the money to. Kill me later. <laughs> We give the money to the foundation. Yeah. We don't even we make the money, count it, put it in the bank, and right. then we write a check to the to Bev Stipe down at uh, down at uh, North Central Washington. Okay. And they administer they administer the uh, scholarships, and we go out and give them out yeah. in hand. That's fun. So yeah, we get a lot of kids. At the <coughs> biggest issue is to get enough kids from the high schools all recognizing that oh, here's this money that's available. Right. Fill out the scholarship. Benjamin is actually on that group that reads those scholarships and picks the. 15 kids, well, or as many kids as qualify, right. up to 15. 
um, so that they have some skin in the game, they need to actually provide a, a really decent scholarship uh, right. application. And they have to go to the Community Foundation website, because I did look that up right. and find that your scholarship yeah. is there. Yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. put a web connection. Yeah. Actually, out of our Cakes for College, you can yeah. access the foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how would this process come about? I mean, how did you get the booth, I mean, or the trailer, yeah. whatever it's well, called? Well, that's, 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 that's the you people. Tell the story. That's Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Benjamin. He had to prepare a and go in front of them. And that was one of the real key things is that we had to get we had to get the belief by the apple blossom that we could make some money. Right. And I don't know, they went they took a risk. They uh, took a risk, but Ben Josh. was working with West Matheson, who oh, was okay. one of his best friends from sure, high school. Sure. And so when the two of them got onto a, a phone uh, conversation with the board of Apple Blossom and presented this idea that they had, and they they made it sound like, okay, who, hmm. how are we going? to, Obviously, what, these yeah. two guys are going to make this thing happen. Ben actually fell in love with the whole idea when he came up to help uh, per, uh, plan his high school reunion ten at ten years in or whatever it was, right. and one of the gals in his high school. Uh, in his class worked for Apple Blossom and one thing led to the next and he yeah. started questioning stuff and asking questions and so how does this work and who's doing this and how does it happen da 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 and so then when he found out that funnel cakes were the big source of sure. money for the he uh, pursued some guy in California who was like the king of funnel cakes a really a wonderful man Mike Osi from uh, San Angelo Texas yeah. actually and uh -huh. then he, would, okay. he did all Orange County and he did all these various and those are, fairs those are month long so and we flew to Houston Benjamin and I did, sure. and got trained. He, the guy was wonderful. He took oh, us amazing. in and showed us how to do it. And oh man, they have twelve burners at each end. They're, they're, sure. they're making like huge. And we're doing. We have six at each end. I mean, we ours is small time. They make. I think he made eight hundred thousand dollars really in twenty eight days. Huh. Funnel uh, cakes in Texas. Yeah. I mean, and everything's you, bigger and, in Texas. And you're cooking all these in cast iron pans. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 yeah, and this yeah. oil and this stuff. And we got yeah. volunteers and it burns and you know, we're just <laughs> fire extinguishers are available because we have to. We have a, a volunteer ready to go. We put that out over there. We just hope it keeps going because we're trying to, you know, we're trying to make a million dollars and we're about halfway. Really, you were you almost said. Well, halfway on Thursday, oh, really? next Thursday. Cool. If, if people show up and buy some uh, funnel cakes, we'll be all set. Okay. Yeah, bring it. Uh, it, but it's been a lot of fun getting trained, and we went down and got a trailer in Phoenix and towed it up in a rainstorm, and we have a lot of like friends of his that he knows brought it up. It's just been wonderful. The volunteers, right? Everybody doing their part, a little bit of part, and, and that really keeps it going for us. Okay, so how did you get all these people to volunteer? I mean, what did you, you know, I mean, using your contacts? I well, initially that. Ben would come up earlier in the year, uh, from between January and April, and uh, they, these guys would go to the high schools yeah. and. Mm -hmm visit the uh, counselors and uh, whoever's running whatever student programs that leadership, were available, leadership classes, classes and get kids to sign up and so kids could get real excited and pumped about it so those people keep t telling other people who see other people word of mouth yeah. word of mouth you yeah. know so now it just has become that kind of thing then we have all these adults that we have <coughs> cornered from one yeah from teachers one that we used to work with and yeah. my sister yeah. she's like uh, Wenatch Sharon Wenatch Valley Follies Guild I get some of those gals hmm. to come and work you know um, we have all these just Beth Stipe will come and work you know, all these different people who are all over the community who just want to put in a couple hours, two to four hours a week, and they'll come and work. And everybody gets a kick out of seeing them at the booth, you know, or seeing them at the window, taking money from them and serving sure. them up. But a lot of high school girls, cheerleaders, the cheerleaders come down and volunteer mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just the, been the great. The golf team. The golf team helps set up next Tuesday. Tuesday and Wednesday are set up days. So it's, but it's been phenomenal that, that so many people have come forward. And you know what it is, Mike? You know, you probably volunteered because you're semi retired. You're was, semi. You're okay, semi the first, yeah, you one cooked. of the first years you did yeah. it, I was there. Yeah. yeah. So. But I mean, you know, you've gone and volunteered. I met people who are watching go and volunteer, and they don't feel useful. But you show up next Thursday, and we cut 200 pounds yeah. of strawberries. You're there. 45 minutes later, you're gone, but you've done something. And you have a purpose. Yeah, no, I. And we find a lot of people who volunteer say, "Yeah, I felt like I was used and it was good, and yeah. I contributed to something yeah. that's mm -hmm. going to move forward." Mm -hmm. Good, that's really cool. Okay, so how many years has it been? <laughs> this is the so, sixth. This is sixth, the sixth year. year. Okay. What's really fun is when we get to the end of all this thing, in the next month, May, we will go to various schools and present these scholarships mm -hmm. that were earned on money from last year. This is money we're earning now for next oh, year. Oh, cool. Okay. But, uh, and that that's just really a yeah. That must be. Uh, it, oh, yeah, and then they write you back. Yeah. They'll write a letter back oh, saying, you know, gosh. I got through. I'm, we had a kid stop us. A different scholarship we're involved in. We have a Bob and Nita Payne scholarship right. that right. our children set up when we retired. And he stopped us. At a, we were at uh, Duke Ellington la the other night at PAC. Yeah. And the guy says, oh, you're Bob and Nita Payne, right? Yeah. yeah we go, like, well, I got through in three and a half years. I got a degree in music, and I'm going to 
ASU now to get it. Oh, master's. that's got to be oh, no. cool. Here's, here's really? Here's really? Here's cool. Oh, no. Here's a Just, like, first of all, that he could recognize us. Yeah. And <laughs> second of all, that we're still alive. No, first of all, we're still alive. That is, that, 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 that is a shocker. So, yeah. you know. oh, but hey, let's hold it there for a minute because we've got to take a break, okay? okay? But hey, Street Talking on the Stop, Mike Mad Dog Magnetti. I'm talking to Bob and Nita Payne, two great people, people I really love. We're doing a lot for this community with their Keep It in the Valley funnel cake booth at the food fair where all proceeds go to... Keep it, Co in the Keep it in the Valley Scholarships for, college. for local kids going to Natchez Valley, 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 Valley College. Case for College. Show it one more time. Right there, right See that? Now, that is a chest, okay? Yeah, yeah. That's a oh, chest. Full body. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay. HR, call HR. You stick around. We'll be right back, okay? So... Happy Spring Wenatchee Valley from Collins Fashions. We are so ready for your Wenatchee lifestyle special events and vacation time. Colorful tees and tunics, embroidered and colorful ankle jeans, capris and shorts from Not Your Daughters, Jag, Liverpool, French dressing, etc. Beautiful mom of the bride or groom dresses, sundresses too. New shoes and sandals from Soft, Bueno, Nicole, Naked Feet. Spring Brighton handbags and jewelry are amazing. Please stop into Collins and let us style and pamper you where fun meets fashion in downtown Wenatchee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is State Representative Kerry Condotta inviting you to check out our newest show on the NCW Life channel. We call it the 12th District. Each week we will be taking an in-depth look at various political issues that affect our area, our state, and the world. We'll be featuring local and statewide experts on the subject matter at hand. Please join us weekly for the 12th District with yours truly, Kerry Condotta. Check your channel guide for times or go to ncwlife.com for details. Thursday night, hockey night on the NCW Life Channel. It all begins at 7 o'clock with a call of the wild and Clarkie's Corner. Then it's non-stop hockey action with the voice of the wild, Arch Ecker. Join us as the wild battle the rest of the BCHL. Thursday night is hockey night on the NCW Life Channel. This is TV. This is TV Set Free. TV Everywhere from Localtel sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV Set Free. Enjoy the extra value Localtel delivers with TV Everywhere. Visit Localtel.net and sign up today. Okay, Street Talking on the Stuff. Mike Mad Dog Magnetic, Bob and Anita Payne with the Cakes for College program that is the funnel cake booth at the food fair. But before we go into anything, Bob has, Anita, generously given me some of these coupons for a free funnel cake. So if you email me and say you watch the show, <laughs> if you're one of the first, I think, what have I got, four of them here? Five, five of them? I think five. If you're one of the first five people who email me at maddog at nwi.net, and give me your contact information, I will see that you get one of these, okay, for a free funnel cake. So cool, all right, so the, the practical side of this, mm -hmm. you know I mean, how does this work? I mean, you don't just show up and everything falls into place. I mean, what do your volunteers do? How do you train them? Okay. What other services besides funnel so cakes do you, do you provide? Because, so. Okay, well, we have a schedule um, that we have, that, that one of our workers who now is a junior in college in Arizona mm -hmm. gave us set it up uh, online so we fill people in as they let us know we can put that on we can put them into the schedule wherever it fits for them students usually come in and in from four o'clock to maybe up to we don't like to keep kids till 10, 10. Right. it goes that long sometimes and then adults are there from 10 to that time two so hour we, shifts two hour shifts. two hour shift and we want them to be there a couple times. If you do, if you do two two-hour shifts, you really know what you're doing the second time you show sure. up. But the jobs vary, you know. So if you're in the in the funnel cake booth itself, uh, well, you could show up in the mornings and cut strawberries for like half an hour, 45 minutes, and be 8 done. Eight thirty in the morning, nine o'clock. That's yeah, and that's awesome. Those people have way too much fun. Yeah, I bet they do. They Quilting have a lot of fun back there. there. Yeah. And then um, then there there are jobs working at the window. So we kind of have to have some math skills and some people skills there. 
Um, then we have people that learn to dress the so cakes. So you have people who have to be able to make change. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's people only over people only over 45 years old. <laughs> Actually, no batteries how involved, to make right? Yeah. Right. Well. It's, but it's we had no. We had a, a sophomore girl named Fancy. Oh my gosh. Uh, she was bilingual. Yeah. She could work the window <clears throat> and she upsell everything. Oh, so really? you're going to need a water with that or do you want a lemonade? You know, just. She never just, Oh, oh cool. man. And she's in Gonzaga now. Yeah. She got a scholarship to go to an Asheville college. Now, interestingly enough, the people who work, they don't demand scholarships. It's hmm. very rarely a, a kid that works in, a, in the booth gets a scholarship. Huh, we don't like that quid pro quo, whatever. Really? No, it's People not volunteer, they're usually going off to four year schools anyway. Hmm. They're really together, or, children. Yeah, or just whatever, you know. Yeah. Right. Occasionally, somebody like out of the 15 we give a year, maybe two will have worked. Maybe, work, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. But interestingly yeah. enough, people who volunteer, we had a, we have a fraternity group. Oh, gosh. A, a dentist kid volunteered. He went over and pledged a fraternity. <laughs> he brought his fraternity back. Really? Two years huh. in a row, and they worked oh, cool. Saturday. Four they would go down at Crescent Bar, they had a cabin down there, and come in all just wrong, wrong just out. They, were they sober? And they would, they would know. And they oh, would work God. all day long. <laughs> they they would, were hilarious. They'd wear the sandwich board. Oh, they and went out and had protest signs, you know, free the glutens. I mean, yeah. it was hysterical. <laughs> and, you know, that's what's really fun. It is fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. a lot of work, but it's fun. Yeah. And uh, we're making, we're doing good. So, right, so how do people contact you? Well, we, we gave your your guy. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a website. K -K uh, Tucker, College. my guy. Tucker, the producer. That's your guy. Tucker, right? that guy. That's my guy. Awesome Tucker. guy. So, so he's got that information. Okay, so he'll put that up. It's up there. Cake it's also a lot of word, for mouth, word of mouth, or I'll get phone calls, or somebody will say, hey, uh, how do I get on to that? I say, just let me know what day do you want. Email me or no, whatever. Like, what day, what time. I'll put you okay. in and I'll let you know. And you can always email me, my mad dog at nwi.net. I know how to contact these folks and I can hook you up if you don't get um, all the information. So, And if you don't like doing funnel cakes, we have a, a, a this is about the fourth year now that we've had a tent mm -hmm. that is attached to our whole thing. And we, in that tent, we sell cotton candy, snow cones, and popcorn. And that's always very easy. And we, we like to start a lot of the younger students that show right. up. We'll start them in there because it's an easy way to handle things in there. And they kind of on their own, they like it's that. It's quieter. And they can run it. It's kind of like their own lemonade stand. They never yeah. had when they were a kid. Mm -hmm. I think they really enjoy coming down and doing that kind of and thing. And this is the same thing. Proceeds all go oh, to yeah. the oh, school. Yeah. It's all, it's all, all, it's all keeping cool. the valley cake, yeah. cakes for college. Now, we're trying to build an endowment. Yeah. So, you know, we do give out 25000 a year, right? but we make more than that. Right. So the, re the res residue goes into a, a, a fund that's going to forever go Hopefully, on. Yeah. Well, we already, we're, we're going to go over 100000 in that this year. Yeah. So that'll be, that's mm -hmm. 5000 at a 5% growth. So that's three scholarships forever. Hmm. But we'd like to build it to, to when Five we hand it off or we sell it. Sure. That there would always be these scholarships. Oh, that's We'd great. We'd always be keeping it Cakes for cool. College forever. Mm -hmm. So the people 10, 15, 20 years now go, Cakes for College? What's what that? was that? See, everybody <laughs> thinks it's a culinary school we're sending people to. What's he gonna, I'm going to be a baker? I don't want to be a baker. You know what I mean? No, you can be, no, it's, no, the cakes made the money to go to college. That's what we're trying to do. Funnel cakes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so future. Yeah. What, what plans? I mean, what? Well, I mean, this is got to be hard. To, I'm trying know? to get to 80. That's my goal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Above all else. But uh, I don't know. We don't know. We have the, this year and the next year, of course, is the big year. That's the 100-year anniversary for right. Apple Blossom. Right. So we pretty much think we're going to stick around for that. Yeah. Uh, somewhere be between now and then, you know, the, after that, the future is a little foggier and a little hazier because at some point we won't want to, don't want to come back from Mexico in time to be here for this. <laughs> well, and our son, <laughs> right now, his job situation allows him to come up and we, he had a a second child born last year during Apple oh. Blossom. Oh, cool. That's right. He did. I remember. Yeah, yes. and we had to run it without him. We went, oh, my right. God. God. And we did it. He came up halfway through. And thank goodness. Because yes. we, we were, it's hard. Because mm. you got to, oh, somebody's got to be there knows what's going sure. on. The cash register yeah. breaks or the fire extinguisher. And, he, out of and stuff. he's a cook. Yeah. He's a cook. Yeah, he's a cook. The cook's then. Now, so, are you guys there full time while this is going on? I mean, you can't be there. No, we're there. He's pretty, there a lot. You're okay. there. He's there. Yeah, I do different things. She runs so. around, takes the money to the bank, goes whatever. She, I, I'm, she, I'm the on call person. And they got yeah. a granddaughter. We got a granddaughter coming up. Will so be my that, helper. Like that's a break. Four year old. Oh, cool. Four year old. Four year old. No, no, no. Hey. Four year old. <laughs> Yeah. She's gonna be exhausted. She's well, be awesome. you know, same maturity level as some people sitting here at the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Anyway, that's great. That's yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a fantastic yeah, that's volunteer. I mean, yeah. the money's great, but it's, it's we're teaching people, to, young kids, about doing service. Community and service. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, and, 
and, uh, that, and that's one of the things, you know, the high school kids, that's one of the things that they're supposed to be getting is community service points as they go through high school towards graduation. Sure. And so a lot of them um, had, somebody contacted me this year from uh, Cashmore who wanted to make sure that, that Ben had, could give her at, uh, the, a letter. her yeah. points and her letter to yeah. the counselor so that yeah. she got those, you know, so that's important. So if you need, you need high school points, Come see us. Because yeah, one of our best volunteers came from Cashmere last year. Yeah, really yeah. Cool. she's amazing. And again, if you want to contact Barbara Nita, can't find the information, my uh, mad dog at nwi.net. And don't forget, first five people who emailed me say, I saw the show. It was great. Uh, you can mention how good yeah. looking us two Italian guys are. I've had work. <laughs> I've had work. <laughs> Free funnel cake. But hey, Mike, Mad Dog, Magnetti, Street Talk, and other stuff. I've got one last thing to do. You guys stick around with this. I've got a letter from a viewer. Oh, good. Oh, you guys want to read it? Write it. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said it's a letter from a viewer. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right. yeah. Well, there. It's this part of the show is called Your, Your Probably Worthless Opinion. But hey, <laughs> but Street Talk, and other stuff. Mike, Mad Dog, Magnetti, stick around. We'll be right back. So. Arbiter of Stoke is a series that highlights a variety of outdoor adventure sports that are available in the Pacific Northwest. I dedicate my time to enjoying this natural playground. The decision is yours. How will you keep your Stoke? I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Channel. I'm Eric Grandstrom with NCW Life Sports. I'm NCW Life News Director Steve Hare. Catch us on Local Tell Channel 12. You can watch us on Charter Channel 19 or stream us live on ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Where we cover the local high schools, the Wenatchee Wild, and the pro teams out of Seattle. On Saturday, we have a 90% chance of rain. Catch it all right here on the NCW Life Channel. Dear Mary Maids, please clean the kitchen and the cabinets and the floors and the chairs. And I wish you could clean the dog. <sighs> Colin is now feeding himself. Thanks, Megan. Hi, Megan. No worries. We got it all cleaned up. Let's hope Colin gets past the spaghetti flinging stage soon. Till then, we've got you covered. See you next time, Mary Maids. Just as when it went on the air, Steve, NCW Life is live now on Facebook. Hey, how is about that? We're live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm Dan Koontz, your host for the next hour. Every weekday, starting at 7 o'clock. Get ready for a bunch of news that's coming your way. This is what's happening around North Central Washington. We'll have a rundown of all your local, regional, and statewide news. You can also find more on our website at ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. That's Wake Up Wenatchee Valley on NCW Life News. All right, street talking other stuff. Mike Mad Dog Magnet. I got a letter from a viewer here. This is your probably worthless opinion part of the program. Oh. Let's see what this guy said. Dear Mad Dog, I heard you recently got one of those Amazon Echoes. Oh yeah, I did. You know those things oh, yeah, you talk yeah. to. Yeah. Talk so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alexa, Alexa, tell me what time it is. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Those things you talk to that play music, put stuff on your shopping list, and looks up stuff on the internet. It does all those things. <laughs> what are you, an idiot? <laughs> Don't you know that the government is using those things like your Echo and your Siri and your OK Google and your Google phone to listen in on everything that goes on in your house? <laughs> Why would you let Big Brother into your home to snoop on you? I'll bet right now some black op CIA agent is cataloging everything that you said to your Alexa right now and preparing a detailed dossier. <laughs> On you and your family. I'm a little paranoid. I know. It's signed. It's 1984 come to life. Well, uh. let me put it to you this way, 1984. Now, let's assume what you say is true, and the my, my Amazon Echo is listening and recording to everything I say and reporting it to the government. Okay, or and my phone calls, too, for that matter. Okay, right now they're preparing a report on me asking for mayonnaise to be placed on the shopping list. <laughs> they're putting down something about, now here's, here's what's dangerous, my penchant for Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> to listen to him. And if they're listening when we're not actually saying stuff, they have Rosie and I arguing about what we're going to have for dinner. So <laughs> I really think if that's all the government has to do, that's fine with me. But hey, all right. Street talking other stuff. Mike Mad Dog Magnati. Bob and Nita, thank you very much. Bob's got one last thing he wants to show you. But thanks for being here, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>
Pigs for college. <laughs> Don't forget us. <laughs>